good morning grade 2 our lesson for today is visualizes represents and identifies unit fractions reads and writes unit fractions comparing and ordering unit and similar fractions identifies other fractions less than one fraction tells a part of a whole or a set numerator tells the number of parts taken or being considered Denominator tells the number of equal parts where the whole or set is equally divided. Here are examples of fraction. The first figure circle divided into two equal groups, so each group is one half. Second example, we have again a circle divided into four equal parts. One part is one fourth. Example number three we have here a set of animals. We have set of animals divided into two groups, so that is one half. So we have eight animals in a group divided into two equal parts, so one half of eight is equal to four. Next figure we have here is the plants. So we have 20 plants divided into four equal parts. So each part is one fourth. So one fourth of twenty is equal to five. Unit fractions are fractions whose numerator is always one. Example number one, one half. Number two, one fourth. Number three, one eighth. Number four, one third. Number five, one tenth. In comparing unit fractions, just compare the denominator. The smaller the denominator, the higher its fractional value. Example, number one, one half and one fourth. So two is less than four, so it has the higher fractional value. So one half is greater than one fourth. Number two, one fifth and one third. So one fifth is less than one third. Number three, one seventh and one ninth. So one seventh is greater than one ninth. In ordering unit fractions, compare first the given fraction in a set, then arrange them in ascending or descending order. Example number one, we have set of fractions one fifth, one third, one ninth, one seventh, one eighth. Now let us arrange this in descending order. It becomes one third, one fifth, one seventh, one eighth, one ninth. Number two, we have set of fractions one sixth, one tenth, one fourth, one ninth, one half. Let us arrange this in ascending order. So it becomes one tenth, one ninth, one sixth. One fourth, one half. Proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is always less than the denominator. Its fractional value is always less than one. Example: two third, four ninth, six tenths, one ninth, five eighths. Similar fractions are set of fractions with the same denominator. Example number one. We have set of similar fractions: two seventh, five seventh, one seventh, six seventh, three seventh. Number two, four tenths, seven tenths, five tenths, nine tenths, one tenth. Number three, one fifth, two fifth, three fifth, four fifth, and five fifth. So these are set of fractions with the same denominator. In comparing similar fractions, just compare the numerators. The higher the numerator, the higher its fractional value. Example number one, five ninths and three ninths. So five is greater than three, so five ninth is greater than three ninth. Number two, four tenths and seven tenths. So 4 is less than 7, so 4 tenths is less than 7 tenths. 
In ordering similar fractions, compare first the given fractions in a set, then arrange the set of fractions in ascending or descending order. Example number 1. Arrange the set of fractions in ascending order. Letter A, we have 3 ninths, 7 ninths, 1 ninth, 5 ninths, 4 ninths. The answer, 1 ninth, 3 ninths, 4 ninths, 5 ninths, 7 ninths. Letter B, 4 eighths, 2 eighths, 6 eighths, 1 eighth, 5 eighths. The answer, we have 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, and 6 eighths. Number 2. Arrange the set of fractions in descending order. Letter A. We have 3 ninths, 7 ninths, 1 ninth, 5 ninths, 4 ninths. The answer, we have 7 ninths, 5 ninths, 4 ninths, 3 ninths, 1 ninth. That's all for today class. Until next time, goodbye.